Hey everybody, it's Marshmallow here. This is gonna be my C or the blah, blah, blah. This is gonna be my The Flash season one episode twenty-three or the Flash review, if you will, or the Flash season finale review, if you will. For season one, oh my gosh, we have a whole lot of stuff to talk about, so let's just jump into it right away. So first up in the episode, talking to Harrison Wells. Barry goes and talks to Harrison Wells and asks the question that everybody wanted to know. Well, maybe not everybody, but that Barry wanted to know why. And Harrison Wells says, because I hate you. We don't get to know why the feud started. All we get to know is that basically the conversation that Harrison Wells had with Barry in that part, or Eo Barthon, if you will, um, it was kind of like a closing statement for like se season one, like the whole closing thing, you know, to explain, it's like an explainer for time travel and the season and like everything that just happened over the course of time, and it's crazy. Um, you know, and, and talking about The Flash and Arrow, I'd probably say that The Flash season one was way better than Arrow season three, probably because we already got used to these characters, it was just so fun seeing like the, the light side, you know, the light hearted, fun kind of side that, you know, they brought to the table for The Flash. Um, not saying that Arrow Season 3 is bad, but it just it didn't beat The Flash because it was so great. So, you know, but there's a, oh, a lot of other great moments, you know, going on with the, the episode. We also get Martin Stein's back and Ronnie Raymond. Really amazing. I love how, you know, Robbie Mel comes on the show and all the other characters. Whenever guest stars come on the show, it's just amazing to see them, you know, with all the main characters and kind of see the chemistry that they have. Um, so yeah, we get to see that they're back as well, and Harrison Wells, or Eo Barthon, I keep saying Harrison Wells, but that's not Harrison Wells. Eo Barthon and uh, uh, Barry, they kind of make a wager here, and uh, Eo Barthon tells, you know, Barry, here's a way to save your mother, go back in time, and then you can take me back to my time. So they build, you know, a time machine, and, you know, they, and then Barry plans to go, to use the particle accelerator to go back to the past to save Nora, and, you know, but with that, they know that it'll change the course of history of what's happened the past year, so that's what's going to happen, of course, but obviously that didn't happen. I'll get to that in a second. Building a time machine, uh, uh, Cisco goes to see Eobard Thorne. That was really great. It was a really great moment when, you know, Ronnie comes in and says all of this stuff, so he has to go and talk to Eobard Thorne. You know, how did you fit that suit into your ring? Oh wait, I don't want to know. You know, it's really hilarious how that happened as well. But seeing that happening, um, you know, Cisco reveals the alternate timeline. And with that, you know, Harrison, or Eo Barthon, I keep saying Harrison Wells, it's just confusing right at this point. I'm just going to keep saying Harrison Wells because it's a very catchy name, to be honest. Harrison Wells says, um, I, you know, what did you just say? And the timeline thing, he explains it, and then, you know, of course, with all the smart things that come with Eobarthon, he explains that Cisco is a metahuman, and that the particle accelerator, uh, you know, altered him too. So that's gonna be really cool to see in season two if you know Cisco gets some really great moments. I'm actually really excited to see what happens with the whole vibe thing. Uh, but doing that, that'll connect us to multiverse, you know, because all this you know dimension stuff is going on. That that's gonna be the main you know thing of season two: time traveling to in or er, not time traveling, multiverse to introduce new villains. Um, which I'll also talk about in a second as well. But telling that, you know, I'm sorry. Not that I'm killing you, I'm sure I had a good reason for that. But, you know, you know, it's just hilarious to see all that fun stuff with uh, Eobard Thawne. You know, having here, you know, having Tom Cavanaugh, Cavanaugh on the show uh, it was just great this season. He's a, he is going to be back for season two, I'm really excited for that as well. Moving right along, we have a lot more stuff to talk about as well. So, moving along, you know, we have some great Joe and Barry moments, we have some great Iris and Barry moments, we have some great Eddie moments, of course. But I'm just going to go with the big highlights. So next up we have the marriage between Caitlyn and Ronnie. This was actually pretty cool, but seeing this happen was amazing. You know, they finally get married. What's going to happen to change that, I don't know. Because, you know, obviously, um, Killer Frost is coming. I'll talk about that as well at the end of the, like, in the, of the video. But Killer Frost, just keep that in the back of your mind. Uh, anyway... So, yeah, we also got some awesome Eddie moment at the end, um, but talking about his destiny, he goes to Martin Stein, and Martin Stein's like, you're a wild card, play, you know, you get to choose your own destiny. Um, so, you know, Eddie naturally gets to choose his own future, um, which is actually pretty amazing if you think about it. Um, so going into that, he basically, Barry goes back in time, uh, sees future Barry, the future Barry before, with the white emblem. I'm really hoping we get that for season two, the white emblem. It's really cool. Um, Barry tells him not to save Nora, and he gets that whole moment. You know, you look like my father. And that, and he reveals Barry, that, 
to his mom. He's Barry. It's really cool to see that as well, you know, knowing that that happened is just really awesome as well. Uh, of course, Eobarthon does not get to go travel back to the future. Um, so, yeah. Um, but yeah, so it's a pretty amazing episode. So let's get on with all the, like, Easter eggs. Um, first, there's a time-traveling doodad. Eddie kills himself uh, to stop uh, Harrison Will. Eobarthon, oh my gosh, I keep saying that. I mean, I'm gonna have to get used to that. Kills himself to stop Eobarthon. Basically, that's just the time traveling thing, you know, with the line of ancestors. Boom, you know, that means Eobarthon never existed. So, you know, talking about Tom Cavanaugh being back on the show, Eobarthon never existed, which means he never killed Harrison Wells and took the persona of Harrison Wells, which means that Harrison Wells is still alive. Boom. Gotcha. No, <laughs> I'm just joking. But yeah, well, that's pretty much how it's gonna happen, I, I guess. But, you know, going on, so, Barry, time-traveling Easter eggs. The Jay Garrick helmet pops out, that's, you know, his cue to leave. That basically means the multiverse is collapsing upon itself, so we got Flash Jay Garrick's helmet. That was amazing Easter egg um, in itself. So, traveling in time, Barry sees the future, he sees the past as well, but for the future, he sees the Legends of Tomorrow uh, cast. That was really cool. Seeing Sarah, I wonder if he's going to tell Eric, uh, Oliver about that as well. Seeing Sarah and the Adam and all that stuff. We also get to see the Flash Museum for the first time. How it looks in the show. Amazing. I really want to see more of that. We also get to see Barry in prison. I wonder how that will work as well. That's going to be fun to see um, how that will happen. And then we get Killer Frost. Yes, finally. Caitlin, we get to see her in the Killer Frost you know, mode, and seeing her with the ice beam, that was awesome. So, you know, remember, that's going to be in the future, which means that she's probably going to get her powers, I'm hoping season two-ish, or they could just do multiverse and have, you know, Killer Frost into the episode, or into an episode, and then, you know, Caitlin and Killer Frost will fight Team Flash, and that's just a different version. That's just a different dimension with Killer Frost. And we might never get Killer Frost in our dimension. So possibly, I don't know. I'm really hoping that's not the case. I'm really hoping that Caitlyn does get her powers um, in Season 2. Instead of Multiverse Caitlyn. You know, that would be much, much cooler as well. And then, of course, those are the Easter eggs. I loved all of the stuff in this episode. The time traveling things was amazing. Just like kill seeing Killer Frost. Obviously, that was awesome. And seeing the Flash Museum. Seeing, you know, Legend of Tomorrow. It was just amazing. So... Yep, yep, yep. Uh, don't forget to comment down below what you guys thought of the episode. Don't forget to like this video. This video. Don't forget to subscribe and be in the Monkey Squad. Um, there are links up there, links down there. Before I go, update. I just made a create a sim video. I am so. It, it, it was so amazing. I loved it. It's I, I'm really excited for it. So if you guys want to go watch that, there's a link up there. All right. See you guys later. Bye. -bye.